All right. Woo wee. We got a nice pair of sneakers to unbox today. Very hyped. And uh, that takes a lot nowadays, you know. I've uh, I've received a, you know, bought a lot of shoes in my time. So, uh, yeah, this one gets me excited straight from the source, straight from Joe Fresh Goods website. Uh, these are you already know from the title and the thumbnail. The Joe Fresh Goods New Balance Nine Ninety V Four. So. Yes, size 12, men's. Here's the box. Here's the box. I did hit on these through the uh, EQL raffle system on Joe Fresh Goods website. I was a little, hes I mean, I felt like these were hyped. Um, pun intended. Uh, inspired by the movie uh, from Hype Williams. Belly from the movie Hype, Hype Williams. But uh, I felt like these were going to be like hot. So I didn't want to risk, you know, not using the EQL system on Joe Fresh Goods website. Uh, so I just went ahead and entered anyway. If you don't know what the EQL system is, it's just a, a raffle, third-party raffle company that organizes raffles for retailers and brands. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit more uh, egalitarian towards the consumer. It builds up your the L's you take, and each L you take, you have a higher chance of getting a W in future raffles. Anyways, I got a W, so it probably used up all my L credit, and this was right at the time the, the reverse Grinches were dropping for Kobe. So that was kind of a bummer that I got the W for these, and then I feel like I used up a lot of that, um, yeah, uh, the buildup of L's, uh, unfortunately, right while those were dropping. And of course, I, I took L's on every single Grinch, reverse Grinch raffle I entered. Anyways, enough talking. Let's unbox these. Let's unveil these. That's why you're here. Before I do that, quick subscribe. Takes a second. Boom, you already did it. It's free. I appreciate it. Um, thanks. Just do it. Don't think about it. Just hit subscribe. It's uh, real simple. So you got a sturdy boy thick box, similar with all the made in the USA New Balances, which this falls under that category. Just means like 70% of the materials were manufactured or sourced here in the US. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, okay, I was just taking a second to read that. There it is. There it is. 70% or more of the domestic value of these shoes made here in the U.S. So here are the packaging. You got some outside packaging. Uh, color palette and hits. From, again, this this pair of shoes, as you'll see, was inspired by the movie Belly uh, from uh, Hype Williams. It was the only movie he directed, 1998. I cannot say I've seen the whole thing, so I'm not going to be talking about it a ton. I am a film, film dude, uh, but... Not being knowledgeable, I'll only hit on some, like, top-level stuff. We'll talk more about the shoes themselves. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Like, who thought we'd be saying this in, like, you know, 2023? But I've always liked trainers. I've never been on the New Balance train or trend, so I can't, I can't plant my flag there and brag that I've been a New Balance head forever. I have not totally riding the hype of New Balance, but... I have been a, a trainer fan um, as long as I can remember. So, uh, especially in that early 2000s era with Adidas and Nike, just played a lot of soccer, and these were the the you know the non cleat flat shoe wore to school, wore to practice, wore in between tournaments. Like trainers like these runners. Oh, some the money shot right there. That's cool. That is cool. This is back up here. But yeah, so here they are. A 990 V4. I, this is my first pair of V4s. I tend to like my favorite so far is the uh, V3 as far as just design and aesthetic goes. I know they're all very similar, but once you start really paying attention to the New Balance models, you can tell the differences, the subtle differences. Uh, some of the like the swatch blocking and construction i don't like on some versus others um and and so yeah the 990 v3 is my favorite of that 990 series uh the v6 recently got and it looks super comfortable i haven't really tried them out yet i have a pair check that unboxing video 
but as far as comfort goes that's probably the most comfortable again haven't got really a chance to check it out but as far as looks and aesthetics go the v3 is my favorite v4 i just they don't break up this middle swatch so i've been really hesitant to buy a v4 finally there's one this one collab love the color blocking etc so um love you know joe fresh goods so this was the right pair to buy for me to be my first v4 um i've really liked all of uh joe fresh goods new balance collabs uh for the most part i've liked a lot of them he he you know to me doesn't really miss some maybe like a little bit more than others i don't really feel it it's, makes sense to rank them like objectively it's all subjective you know your preferences on colors the models etc i will say personally for me i really didn't love his first collab with new balance um the 992s with the it had like what pinks reds and a little bit of like yeah black i, I don't love the 992 as a model to begin with um again there's like large chunk of like leather or suede in the middle not broken up i just don't love the pattern uh of the 992 very much from the side view and then that co the colors it wasn't the colors itself per se i think those could work just maybe blocked a little differently i wasn't a huge fan didn't get quite get the hype uh around that first shoe a lot of people i know liked it so you know feel free to voice if you love those but i've liked pretty much every collab of his since probably my favorite being the outside clothes 990 v3 uh, i already alluded i really like that model but i also love the colors on that and the color blocking um just knocked it out of the park that's my favorite but i've i've liked the others i got um uh these underrated i think slept on uh what else what else do we got here we got the nine what was the pink uh the pink green and blue pack i got those those were great those were another 993s i think those were 993s those were great uh, i got his 550s uh his 550s that he did those canvas butter looking ones put in the blue laces check that unboxing out love those so really he's he's done a, a really great job all right talk about these a little bit really quick yeah you already saw comes with a second set of laces uh might be interesting uh come stock with these cream ones i do like contrasting laces to the tongue and the tongue's black so i might leave those in but this could be interesting too with the black laces don't think you can make a bad decision there i think i'll go with the cream laces at first um you got this mesh woven hex is that hexagons yeah hex hexagonal mesh upper on the toe box and the tongue really hairy suede is the obvious thing right here kind of this like bone color white um off-white color i think that's uh some 3m on the n uh for the new balance logo you got some white patent leather all the color cues of these really matches the palette of the movie if you see clips of the movie uh go check it out featuring dmx nas uh method man whole cast of uh you know hip-hop greats and they really like these shoes do a really great job he and his team did a really great job of capturing the color palette in the movie belly uh, this the the white pair from the interiors of the you know the condos or the houses and same with the black and white pair they're basically the reverse of this and then there's that blue pair that was exclusive to joe fresh goods i knew it was going to be a little bit maybe more coveted maybe a little bit more limited but that being said i just like this pair more so i um you know I do what I suggest you should do too, despite that one maybe having a little bit higher resale price or being a little bit more rare. Just pick what you like. I did like those, but I'm not buying, I mean, you know, I didn't try for all three pairs or anything. I don't got that type of money. These were like, I think 220 was retail on them, pretty steep per usual for New Balance. And so I just went with a pair that I liked the most, and that was these. The blue pair definitely has that like nightclub aesthetic from the movie, um, some iconic stills and uh shots from that movie really captures that so um we we'll back to point out some of the details here you got 1998 that's when the movie was made made in the usa uh branding there uh new balance on this ankle support there the jfg logo uh print stamped into there really cool this patent leather you don't see that much on new balances so these hits like really stand out and i think that's got a unique feature that 
Um, that's the great thing about collabs, you know. Uh, obviously, you can do them internally with inline stuff and general releases. You know, you can get great designers uh, working for the brand, but um, this like helps tell a story with the materials. It's like, you know, this is the, the perfect pairing of why you know, brands reach out to collaborators. Sometimes it can be a little overdone these days. Everything has to be a collab, but uh, here's, I feel like, a good example of a good, you know, partnership between brand and person or, or brands. 990v4 on the tongue. This kind of uh, the made in USA kind of black flag there. Different take on the flag. Uh, different materials there. It might be reflective there. Might be a reflective stamp. Really really dope uh shoe here just just love it and there's the insole uh again probably not to the movie joe fresh goods on one insole heel new balance on the other uh i don't want to incorrectly call what part of the movie this is from i really have to watch it i should watch it um y'all should watch it uh i can't believe it was his only movie that hype williams did on the outsole here, more cream, a little bit more cream color than this bone color. Uh, Multi-portion multi outsole to midsole. Midsole is a different part. I think it's got e, this end cap. Sometimes they have that absorbed technology, but it, I don't see any branding here. But again, I do not own a pair of 990 V4s, so this is my first pair. Uh, again, I think that's... The, the smart way to do it is just to really hold off to a pair that really grabs you. There's just so many releases. There's always going to be releases, more releases year after year after year. We're going into another year. There'll be more product and more product that will outpace you till the day you die. So just don't spend, you know, this crap is really expensive. So don't impulse buy. Uh, hold out until there's something that you really like you'll get it if you miss out there'll be a new hype thing that comes out later in that same model etc like just be patient there's plenty of other shoes so i nowadays when i have so many shoes really only try to buy things that really excite me that i feel like that initial look at them is like oh damn that's fire need that um air quotes need of course and that that's really what i try to hold out for i got these in a size 12 because i've had a little bad luck with new balance sometimes uh just going true to size true to size works on most stuff but like right across the upper here it gets tight it's not necessarily the length or the width but right across the knuckles of your toes i've had some models be really tight uh, to too uncomfortable, to unwearable, etc. So if I haven't had any experience with a model or haven't got to try these on in store, uh, I go half size up to be safe. I'm not using these for performance. So a little, being a little bit bigger isn't like, does, that doesn't bother me significantly. So um, that's my suggestion to you. And you know, if they're a little big, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but unless you know, true to size works or half size down works i go half size up when i'm unfamiliar with a model uh and that's been the safer route for me but definitely some new balances like true to size works like the 990 v3 it works but recently i got some 998s um just not it i cannot fit them true to size they were too tight across the top here had to size up and i didn't know that and so i regretted it had to gift them away instead um not the end of the world, but that's just, you know, that's the risk if you get a little, a little loose with it. So, um, yeah, in general, there's sizes where I like definitely though, 12 is a little big and I should have gone true to size. Uh, yeah, it really, really, really just depends here. I can already feel like this would have been a little maybe tight going true to size. I'm glad I went, um, half size up on these. Uh, really glad I did. Uh, just don't want to risk it. Like patent leather is not going to stretch a ton, a ton, right? Um, so very happy with going half size up on these. So if you're watching this, uh, I don't know, maybe more and more these days, maybe because I'm fat. If I lose my New Year's resolution weight next year in 2024, I bet a bunch of more 11s and 11 and a will fit me and some 12s will feel real loose. But so maybe it's just that I'm in uh, kind of my fat era right now. But more and more, 12s have been feeling better. Um, I've been filling them out more. Again, it could just be the weight. 
doing it, but uh, yeah, definitely recommend going half size up on these. I feel just again for this upper portion, not so much the length or width. So half size up a 990 V4s. 990 V3s, I feel like they're big enough to handle true to size. I don't know. That's just that's just me. Same with like 550s and other things. I'm trying to think where else um, going half size up with New Balances was beneficial. Uh, I can't think of anything at the moment, but but yeah, these look absolutely fire on foot. Really glad I held off and didn't just get a random gray pair of 990 V4s. I don't, again, I, I, I just, that, this model, something about this mid panel where just on the 990 V3, it looks cooler, I think. This is a little bit more sleek, uh, just one patch. Maybe the construction's easier for, for them. I don't know, but to me, it looks a little plain compared to the, the V3. That's just my opinion. Uh, but not a bad shoe by any, it's just like if I had to pick, you know, that's what I'm picking is the, the V3. But really glad I got these, really glad I went half size up uh, just to not take a chance. Um, yeah, I've got some 11, like, for example, I got an 11 in a V3 once. I think it was the Joe Fresh Goods outside clothes video. Couldn't wear them, had to resell them and get my size, my correct size. So it, it really, um, it just, it, it depends. Uh, let's give these a rating. Hmm. Now the movie itself doesn't mean a whole ton to me as a, again, I haven't seen it, but I, I just, so just off aesthetics and the materials and the look, uh, I really like these. They go well with these stance, uh, mid length NBA socks. This is great. I feel like winter or summer pair really hairy suede, cool, awesome materials. Ooh, I don't think these get a nine from me. I don't think they're in the nine territory, but these definitely make an eight. It's just where in the eight to nine are they? I kind of want to give them over an 8.5. I feel like these are um, an 8.65 out of 10. That feels right. 8.65 out of 10 for these. Let me know what you think. What colorway is your favorite? Is the reverse of these, the black ones, that where they're overall black? Uh, is that what you guys picked? Uh, as your favorite anyone else cop these anyone go for the blue ones and get them those look fire too both other pairs look fire again i can only pick one so this is just my personal favorite i don't think there's an objective best people always do that crap and it like kind of annoys me um things don't have to be better or worse it's just like i don't know what what vibes with you more and just uh, this is this is my vibe uh but i i would have gladly taken or worn those other pairs again if i was rich i'd have all three and rock all three had infinite space storage space i would definitely have gone and got both other pairs these are fire all right thanks for watching please subscribe more unboxings coming up in the near future gonna try to maybe do some more videos in the new year so i hope you stick with me hope you watch hope you subscribe maybe i'll do some more different type of content you know it's my top picks top pickups top low heat favorite high heat all that stuff so all the likes, comments, subscribes, those encourage me to do that if you want to see more of that stuff. Otherwise, you're just going to get the once every two weeks unboxing video from me, which is, which is fine. But if you want more, just let me know. Helps encourage me to do more. Peace.